All right, this how you change on a 4.6 liter engine, the thermostat. This is 2006 Mercury Grand Marquis. So you want to take a screwdriver like this and take off this bolt right here. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. You know, we're gonna make this easy as pie. Got two bolts right here for your upper radiator hose. And now this is some of the stuff that you need. Motorcraft, this car calls motorcraft product. So try to go back with motorcraft product. out just fine for you. you know, try to get some of the contaminants out of the bucket that you're going to be catching the fluid in. So, yeah, because sometimes these buckets can have so much contaminants in it. You just go to the dollar store and buy you a cheap dollar bucket. Go to Napa, AutoZone, get your little holes to hook up to the bottom of the cockpit. Talk, tell them about the motorcraft product. So, this is our ring. This is our thermostat. And this is our gold antifreeze coolant. Um... You have our, it's a RG571X, basically. It's a motorcraft thermostat. You have the antifreeze goal. It says do not add water, so basically do not add water. And you have, basically that's what you will need, basically to do a lot of things. This thermostat is basically part of the process. And you have the cold antifreeze. It's the coolant. And the coolant goes right here. So basically... So, if you want to get your pipe on, it's probably about a quarter inch pipe, and hand tighten this and hand loosen it, or get your wrench, like probably like a 13 millimeter, turn it, and drain your coolant. So what you want to do, you want to take this radicator, radiator cap off to release some of the pressure. And by the way, you want to do this on a cold engine. You don't want the engine to be heated. Take the cap off, release some of that pressure. Whoa, that looks cloudy and dirty. So, I'm going to have to end up doing a coolant flush. on this these shops man these shops all right let me get you to record from right in here all right let me get down here with you you see the cockpit hmm? right there you want to turn that by hand let some of that coolant out then you gotta let all of your coolant out just want to let a, a little out 
should be able to turn it just by hand. So you hear that cooling. Start to fill up that bottle. I can hear it. Put it on pause. All right. So that's what you want. You want to drain much as that fluid out as you could get out of there. So what I normally do, I normally put a rag right under here to catch the drippings. Because you're going to lose some fluid. Yeah, that you're gonna lose. Yeah, just gonna take it off. Just be ready to lose some fluid. Then these boats will fight you all the way. So, basically, once you get it off, this thing will seize up there. Once you get it off, take out your seal, take out your gasket, and that's it. So, take out your old one, put in your new one. Put an O one right there. Go your part number. I don't know if you can see it. Come my camera. But that's your part number. And replace your gasket. Give me that gasket. There go your gasket. There go your new gasket. Replace that motorcraft. And you should be good to go. Put in your new gasket, just put it right on in there. Push it down. I ain't had time to clean none of this up or anything. Hopefully it won't leak. Yeah, so you wanna evenly tighten these down. You don't wanna just do one side. Just evenly tighten it down. 18 foot pound to torque. Strip it that you don't want to do. There you go. No power. So now what you want to do, you want to let your car warm up to operate in temperature for about 10 minutes. Once this reaches the halfway mark, then you'll know what's going on. Once that reaches the halfway mark, that'll let the fluid through you. You're cooling through your fluid, through your reservoir housing. Yeah, open up the thermostat. You'll be good to go. And turn on your heat. Up to the high as it could go. Okay, once your thing hit operate in temperature, you're good to go. 
should be just like that. Hold them right there in the middle. Bottom level should be on full, just like that. Sometimes if it ain't, leave this cap off for 10 minutes and burp it. And make sure the air is out the engine. That's it. That's how you change the thermostat. 2006 Grand Marquis. 4.6 liter engine.